Janet Yellen, since the beginning of the year, has given a speech anywhere in the world where two or more people are gathered to talk about how important it is to have a 15% global minimum tax. In order to actually implement it, the OECD, which operates on a consensus basis, which means everyone has to agree. And the OECD has I don't know, 130 countries, something like that. Um, and there was the G7 meeting that occurred in London uh, just uh, uh, two weekends ago, where the G7 endorsed this. Um, but there is, and then there's another meeting coming up the middle of July. There is a huge difference between, you know, the G7 getting together in Cornwall, uh, where, by the way, there's been a rapid COVID outbreak since those people were there. So thank you for coming. Um, <laughs> there's a big difference between the G7 or the G20 getting together and say, yeah, put us down for this, and it actually becoming law. And here's the risk for U.S. companies. If the world, if, if we agree to a 15% global minimum tax, and it would be on a country by country basis, and that's a really big deal. You wouldn't get to aggregate all your income and say, as long as I'm paying an aggregate of 15% on my total income. No, it'd have to be country by country. If the United States does this, and the rest of the world doesn't follow, and, and let, let me explain something about the rest of the world. When Italy says, we have a 20% marginal rate on corporations. That's not what they really have. What they have in Italy is make me an offer. And so you, you your first return filing is like their first offer. And then you kind of negotiate from in the United States, believe it or not, notwithstanding the ProPublica and everybody else, most corporate tax managers religiously actually try to follow the law that's written into the Internal Revenue Code to determine what they owe. Now, clearly there are areas of ambiguity, but much of the rest of the world, the, 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 their tax code is just sort of a guide. You know, it's a, it has hints uh, about what you might wanna pay. So, so the problem is the United States is a country of laws and we tend to try and actually follow them. Uh, much of the rest of the world just doesn't operate that way. And so we run the serious risk that we can 15% global minimum tax the rest of the world either doesn't follow or they pretend to follow, but they really don't follow. And all of a sudden, U.S. multinationals become a target for takeovers by foreign purchasers. And that's part of the reason Yellen's been going all over the world, because she knows if they would raise the top corporate rate in the U.S. to 28%, which, by the way, would take us way above the average of the OECD, we would be dead takeover targets. Um, but even if you get... 15% minimum tax and maybe only raise the corporate rate to 25%, U.S. companies are still going to be in the gun sites uh, taken over. And one of the problems with corporate takeovers by foreign purchasers, the headquarters jobs go, the, the other jobs go, the suppliers go, end up coming from the country that's been the, the purchaser. And when that happens, those jobs never come back to the United States. Um, so this is serious business. Um, what the U.S. U.S. multinationals have going for them is so far Ireland is not showing much in the way of cooperation. They have a 12.5 percent rate. Uh, Hungary has nine percent. Um, so I still think they have a long way to go to get this done. And, and also, by the way, people are predicting that the OEC is going to agree to this in meetings this summer. Those people apparently have never been to Europe in the summer. No one works in Europe in the summer, okay? They're all on vacation. So so I don't know exactly how they think this is gonna happen in the summer, but I, I, I guess my bottom line is it's got a long way to go, uh, but uh, you can't say it's impossible.